first thing you'll need to to take care of your pet praying mantis is uh, its home. Well, my pet praying mantis is pretty big compared to other bugs, but it's small. It's about two inches. And a two inches bug would need this this type of home. Okay, you see? So about a two inch praying mantis would need a four, four, a four inch wide wide cage um a eight and a half inch tall cage and i mean eight and a half long cage and eight and a half tall cage so you could say that so if after you got that then you would need to make your uh, get a sprayer to make your the cage humid for the praying mantis. Now I have a spray that looks like this. My spray. You can have that spray, then you can spray around the side so it gets wet. Do not spray towards the praying, directly at the praying mantis or towards the praying mantis. Because then that will hurt the praying mantis. Um, then after you got that is, how are we going to get food? Well, if your house has a lot of bugs, you can catch those um, with a cup or without a cup. You, the, the praying mantis does not eat lizards. You do not put that in unless you know it eats lizards. And how you know that is it's a big praying mantis. The huge ones, like in the rainforest, they eat, they eat lizards. But for now, they you just eat, start with simple stuff. Beetles, maybe caterpillars, uh, earwigs, maybe black widow, actually. Um... Uh, sometimes if you you have another pet praying mantis, you might put them in a fight because they do eat each other. Um, yeah, I can't think of more stuff I fed myself. Oh, also mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes. They eat flies. Um, hmm. Oh, and they also have to eat live animals. They don't eat dead animals. They have it has to be live, and and it won't catch its food. It will rarely catch its food if you don't have the leafy stuff in it. Don't put leaves on the ground because then the prey will hide under there, and it won't help the praying mantis. Put a sticky, leafy thingy like mine. I'm gonna show you mine again. See, I have two sticks that have. You see, I have this. One right here, the sticky one without leaves, and the one with leaves. But I didn't put any leaves on the ground. You can see that. Um, must, and also, you'll have to clean its tank. You. Another reason why you shouldn't put leaves on the ground is because they'll, uh, because. They'll hide, they'll hide the prey, and when you have to wash the tank, it'll be harder because it because it rots much more easily when it's on the ground or not connected to a branchy thing. And try to get some leaves that don't rot so easily. So, so I got this. Those leaves that I showed you on my pet praying mantis cage don't rot so easily. Uh, it's been Eight days, I think I have my praying mantis, and my praying mantis, the leaves in, with my praying mantis have been fine, hasn't rotted. So I, 
So you pick a, something in your yard that you, the praying mantis can climb, hang upside down. Um, uh, maybe, maybe hide in so it's leafy. Make sure the leaf doesn't rot. The praying mantis will poo. Will poop. The uh, that's one reason why you have to clean his tank. Uh, also, make sure you have an extra jar that you can move the praying mantis to while you clean its tank. Um, oh, and make sure the praying mantis does not flip itself upside down. Make it in a cage that it can climb. So, you see on my praying mantis, you saw it on the wall, so it can climb. But if I put it in, for example, this box, which I tried actually, it wasn't really good fit for him. This box is slippery. This box is slippery. So I tried it for him, he really didn't like it. And he flipped upside down multiple times. And so you wouldn't want that. Oh, uh, and you need breathing spaces, like tiny holes or, or some some cracks. I would not recommend a big crack. You see mine? You see mine? I have these stuff in the wall. I have. Um, yeah, there's where it breathes. Yeah, that's basically where it breathes. Also, the top hole, it has a top hole you see there. That it can breathe from there too. Also, some cages have tiny holes that you can fit the food through. Tiny spaces that you can fit the hole through, but the praying mantis can't cr climb out. Um, you can fit the food through. Some foods is dangerous, like a black widow. I fed him today, a black widow. I had to catch it. I had to open the door completely. Otherwise, a beetle, a harmless beetle, I caught in my hand. Black widow I caught with a cup and paper. But a harmless beetle I caught with my hand, I just slid him through a tiny hole. And I put him in that way. Okay, what else? Oh, and be make make sure to put it put something under the praying mantis, because if you have holes at the bottom, be make sure to do that. If you don't, that's better. But it still might water go through it. Water's in the ground. Um. Oh, and one fruit a day. Otherwise, today I fed him two foods because. The, I had to clean his tank, and I put him in a different jar, a different cage, so he could he could be there, so it doesn't escape. Um, that the prank, and then he could go and wash the box because it was very dirty. And I made it a better box, and I changed it a little bit. Um. Okay, after you get in, if you do, if you take care of your praying mantis well, after you can let it come into your hand and maybe catch another bug or a live bug in the other hand and then praying mantis will snatch it from you immediately. That would be kind of cool. Um, they, you, you might think it hurts. Praying mantis bites really don't hurt and they really don't want to bite you if they have a full stomach. Um, I fed him two foods today because that he used a lot of energy. He was walking around, he went on my hand, he climbed on me, went on my neck, almost next to my ear. Um, then he was trying to escape, we kept on pulling him. He was very close to escaping and he kept falling upside down, which I, but I was trying to not, I was trying to make sure he doesn't fall upside down. Because he goes on the walls and falls upside down. Because of those memories I talked about the smooth cage. Um, I was making sure he doesn't fall upside down. Uh, me and my brother tried to scare him away from the walls. Um, 
Yeah, and when he went on my hand, he didn't really want to bite me. He didn't think I was food, so he knows he's scared of me. For some reason, he just continued climbing. I didn't want to hurt him, so. Um, oh, make sure no cups are in there. Like, this cup be very dangerous for the praying mantis when I had this cup in there. This cup was a huge cup, and we caught him with that cup. And because my dad had a hard time putting it in, he just dumped the both cups in. Luckily, he took one cup out, but it was dangerous, the other cup, because the praying mantis was on top of it and didn't want to come down because he thought it was a branch. And under it, the food could just hide and get or get stuck under it and can't come, come out. So you definitely need that. Um, need something that is has many sides for a branch if you need that um, oh and when you put the and when you and if you put find like a black widow or something like that um make sure you make sure the black widow falls inside there because i Actually, some of the preys escaped when they tried to put them in there. When you're washing this tank, uh, I don't recommend putting food before you start washing this tank. Because then the food might escape like it did today. Um, yeah, that's kind of it. It's all to having your praying mantis and tricks with the praying mantis. And you can might get a mate. And the the you might get a mate, and the woman the the men have longer antenna than the woman. Otherwise, that's it for mates. So stuff. And also, when they're molting, make sure you when you put food and they don't eat. That means they're molting, and they, they molt in the winter. It might change color, those type of stuff. So, bye. Hope this helps you keep your pet praying mantis. Off you go.